Now, Scott, uh, let's talk about oil slumping overnight. Was that as a result of the China GDP figures or is it all supply factors? I think it's a combination of both. Right now, you're running into a very unique situation with oil. You're having a, a, a perfect storm for the downside. You know, it's a lot of bears are definitely in control right now. The only positive news I've seen with oil is just the <clears throat> the demand f uh, factor in in China dropping off a little bit, but also it was a decrease in, in, in U.S. inventories. Other than that, that's the only positive news I've seen. You're running into uh, producers increasing production, you know, just like you said, with Libya adding, uh, having their refineries come back online, Russia's increasing output. You know, the U.S. is also considering waivers for uh, importers of Iranian oil just due to, you know, the tougher than expected deadline to, you know, wean off of Iranian oil. You know, one of the things that really sparked my interest moving forward with the production is in North America. You're seeing the rig count, uh, the Baker Hughes rig count pretty much stayed the same, but the Canadian rig count jumped by 13 rigs. That's pretty significant. Over the last seven weeks, the rig count in Canada jumped from 35 all the way to 139. That's very significant in seven weeks. So that's just confirming that the U.S. and North American are ramping up production in oil prices. So there's a lot of supply, and how's the demand side looking? Uh, you know, thing, things seem to be moving ahead uh, pretty bullishly, bullishly there in the U.S. at the moment. Uh, is that global demand going to stay up overall? Uh, well, it's going to be a double-edged sword because you're going to see stronger growth in demand here in the States. But as you've seen with the Chinese numbers this morning, that that demand is weaning off a little bit. So we're going to have to find some balance. But until we find that, that balance and get rid of all that headline trade war risk, I think you're going to see you know, oil either sta stabilize or you're going to see big spikes and drops. Right now, I'm leaning towards big spike and drops only because of the headline risk.